Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Pharma Lecture once again. This is Sunil Shah and today I am going to discuss an important question from examination point of view and this question belongs to limitist for iron where a question generally come like write the reaction involving limitist for iron. But before that I want to inform you that full version of this video is already available in pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry playlist in our channel. Okay, so without wasting time, let's go uh, to the question. So the question is like, write the reaction involving limitus for iron. So for this, we are going to write reaction first. And the reaction is divided into two parts. One is a standard reaction and sample reaction. So first of all, we'll see sample reaction. Okay, here we are going to write ferrous, that is a P plus 2, react with C double OH. CH2 and as such this is thioglycolic acid so two molecule of thioglycolic acid will be used so what will happen so we are going to write same thioglycolic molecule acid molecule and another molecule we are going to write in opposite direction okay just like this and in the center you put iron or you write iron okay so this hydrogen from carboxylic group will go outside and it will make bond with iron. Similarly, another hydrogen will be removed from carboxylic group and it will make another bond with iron. And you know that sulfur have lone pair, so those lone pair will be shared with iron by the sulfur, okay? And this is a complex, which is called as ferrous thioglycolate complex, okay? This in presence of ammonia or alkaline media will produce red or deep purple color. Are you getting? So now we will write this reaction in word format. Okay. So this is ferrous ion. This is thioglycolic acid. Here there will be citric acid. This is ferrous thioglycolate complex. Okay. So you have to write the name and name reaction. Otherwise your marks will be reduced. Okay. So suppose there is a condition that if iron is present in ferric form then what will happen so no need to worry so here what will happen two molecule of thioglycolic acid okay so you write like this they will react with each other and this hydrogen will will go outside as a nascent hydrogen and they will produce disulfide glycolic acid and two nascent hydrogen okay now we will write the name like thioglycolic acid. This is disulfide glycolic acid. And this is nascent hydrogen. These nascent hydrogen are highly reactive. And if there is any ferric form of iron, it will be reduced into ferrous form in presence of this nascent hydrogen. And this ferrous will react with thioglycolic acid to produce ferrous thioglycolate complex. Okay. Now we will write the standard reaction. So the reaction will be same, here also ferrous will react with two molecule of thioglycolic acid and we are going to write in the same way and another molecule in opposite direction that is C double OH will be here, okay, okay. here will be ferrous, okay. Now one, remove one hydrogen from here and one hydrogen from both the carboxylic group and the negative charge will be produced and they will make bond with iron respectively, okay. And the sulfur have a lone pair, so they will share their lone pair with iron. So this is a complex, okay, which is formed now. And in presence of ammonia, it will produce pale pink or purple color. Okay. Now write the name in word form. This is ferrous ammonium sulfate. This is thioglycolic acid. Here there will be citric acid. And this is ferrous thioglycolate complex. Okay, so this is all about reaction involved in limitus for iron. With this, we came to the end of this discussion. Thank you, thank you very much for watching our channel and uh, kindly subscribe our channel. Thank you, thank you very much.